It's Tuesday, we are back out here in Brookfield, Illinois, and we are gonna be building a pondless waterfall yet again. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Good morning guys, Jack with Team Aquascape again. We are out here with Gem Ponds. We are in Brookfield, Illinois, and we're gonna be building a 12 large aqua block pondless, super similar to in our aqua gardens, the same pondless waterfall in our aqua gardens. So let me spin you guys around and let me give you guys a tour of what we're gonna be doing. So as you can see, we have 12 large aqua blocks. We're gonna do three wide by four deep in this area right here. They have this gorgeous side yard. And then right where you see that stick right there is right where our small sphere is gonna be sitting. And it's gonna be starting up there with a 12 inch spillway at the bottom of that and that's going to kind of create an upper pulling area kind of twisting and turning and then dumping down into our basin super easy super small it's going to turn out awesome i can't wait and then we also have a pop-up drain coming down from that downspot over there which is going to act as our autofill for when it rains it'll it'll pull up through this pop-up into this basin and topping this basin off so without further ado we are going to be moving all of that stuff to over here pretty soon a moose with illinois brick just finished up loading up and we have these awesome aqua blues i'm really looking forward to it because we don't really get to work with aqua blues a whole lot and i love aqua blues i mean just look at the cragginess out of them and you can create some really nice waterfalls out of them so we have five tons so it's this pallet here that pallet there and then there's probably a half pallet back behind there and then two sacks of gravel we have one large and one small so we are going to be rocking and rolling soon it's only 8 30 so i'm really looking forward to how today's going to be going That made quick easy with the excavator. Right now, we excavated for our 12 large aqua blocks. We have our vault sitting down in this corner here. And the reason why we went down so deep is to accept that overflow from that pop-up. So that allows us the proper elevations to dump it down into this basin. So what we're gonna do is come in with our fabric, layer of fabric down, throw a liner in, throw another layer of fabric on top of that like we normally do. And then we'll toss all these aqua blocks inside this hole, fold the fabric back in the liner, and then we will backfill, and then we'll be able to set some rock. everybody we are back in brookfield illinois it's a little bit of a different scene than what it was a couple seconds ago for you guys we unfortunately got pulled off from some permitting issues but we are back and we are going to finish this thing today and i am looking forward to it because i was looking forward to it in the first place and i am really excited of how it's going to look especially since we have color changing lights and a sphere we actually have a new crew of cac's yes we are still doing the cac collab and we have kevin and rob out of long island so i will uh spin the camera around and i will have them introduce themselves they are grabbing some stuff, staging everything right now. We just got here probably like a half hour ago. So let's get after it today. So Rob and Kevin, what do you think? It's our first time working with Aqua Blue, so it's something we don't really get to experience on the island. So it's definitely a learning curve here. But I'm excited to see what this little polis sphere comes out. Yeah, I know I mentioned you guys a little bit before, but why don't you guys officially introduce yourselves I and mean, where you guys are from. So I'm Rob, owner of Tranquility Scapes. We're out in uh, Long Island, New York. I'm Kevin, I'm his brother. I'm the other owner of Tranquility Scapes. But yeah, we're based out of Long Island. We're a new business, second year in business, actually. We actually have our own YouTube channel, so if you guys aren't subscribed, please. Yeah, give us a follow. Yeah, follow. go subscribe to them uh, over there. They do some really good work out there. It's really nice to see some young guys. I know we just had Pondemonium two weeks ago, and so it's just, we were all talking about how nice it is to have a lot of young blood coming in here and them being so good at what they're doing. So, Thank yeah, you. appreciate you're it. welcome. So, yeah, we got Luis and Jack out here um, and myself, so five of us are going to be able to crank through this. Hopefully, we're shooting for around lunchtime to be done with this we have the basin in already as you guys saw in, earlier in this video 12 large aqua blocks that's already filled up and then we have our pretty much roughed in basin sorry i cannot speak today it's a monday but we have our first waterfall here so it's gonna be more of a pinch style waterfall and then there's gonna be another waterfall up here we're probably gonna shoot for maybe a sheet style waterfall who knows the rocks are gonna talk to us and then we have a small stack slate sphere that's gonna sit somewhere right there where the end of my finger is at so it's super small upon this waterfall they're working with yes the basin is a little bit oversized and it's a little overkill but they want to run this thing in the winter time so you can ever oversize the basin if you want to run this thing in the winter time hopefully uh the rain holds off and we're going to be able to crank through this all right 
right, so everyone, we are just doing our uh, edges. We are just finishing up our top pooling area up there. We're just getting our plumbing up, but Rob, Kevin, and Luis are all going up and doing finishing up all these edges and stuff like that. And I just want to show you guys. So up here, we're doing something a little bit different. We have our bulkhead and the liner down there, and that was because we can't go up and over the liner without seeing that two inch line. And I just don't like the look of the two inch line. So we're just going to do a bulkhead nice and low profile. And then I carved out this area down here, and that's going to accept our three inch manifold system that's going to sit down here. So we are going to have a one two inch line coming into this three inch manifold. And the reason why I went with the three inch manifold was because we're going to tee it off. One is going to go to the sphere, and then one is going to go into this top pooling area. And that allows all that water to kind of go into that three inch manifold and then the well up. And that way there's not a lot of back pressure. We're not losing a lot of gallons per hour through choking it down to two inch ball valves. So when we're all done, I will show you guys what I mean by that. But I just wanted to give you guys a before look at uh, what we're doing. So you guys saw that trough that we created in here and I forgot to give you guys a little during shot, but we were able to get our three inch manifold out there that is connected to our bulkhead and then we have two ball valves. So this ball valve here is gonna control our sphere. So that's gonna continue on up into here and then it's gonna 90 up right where the sphere, the sphere is gonna sit right here. And then this guy is just gonna discharge into here. And the reason why, like I said earlier, we went with this setup was cause this area here is a super small pooling area and I didn't wanna have that ball valve sitting all the way up here and you would see that disturbance in the water that way this water is going to shoot out in here well up and then it's going to create a super subtle pooling area for the sphere to splash into and then ultimately flow over this waterfall here dumping down into our area so we are cruising right along like i always say and the rain is coming so we're trying to not hustle through this but we're definitely not taking our time and down here you guys normally see we're taking our bib liner and jack is just forming it to the all the sides so the reason why we do this bib liner is to extend on that water instead of dropping it right into the basin and then it would look super unnatural we have it dumped down hit this liner and then it kind of well, wells up in this area kind of continues this pooling area meandering effect and then dumps down it's going to kind of meander or finish up right here and luis is cutting hello. it right now luis is saying hello to everybody it is looking awesome i cannot wait to see how this thing looks and we have also back there a little piece of driftwood so you guys are gonna have to wait to see what we do with that and to see how well that's going to turn out We're just doing the final touches on this pondless waterfall. Jack is up there gluing around our sphere. He's just taking some silicone, making that connection between the two inch pipe and our sphere watertight so that way we get as much water over that sphere as possible and we direct it to where we want it to. So you can see that top pooling area, we have that hose up in that top pooling area so then we can see if we're losing any water back behind the rocks and it looks like we are a little bit so we're gonna have to go back and kind of refoam some areas back behind that waterfall. And but we got pretty much everything done. We're just throwing some retaining wall stones in and we are gonna be firing this bad boy up and then over here you see this pocket of gravel and we have to clean this up a little bit but underneath this there's a pop-up drain coming back behind me and that's where the gutter for half this roof is dumping into it's gonna be a pop-up emitter so it's gonna pop up through this gravel we're gonna move some of that away so then you can see that emitter and when it starts raining that pop-up drain will pop up and allowing water to fill this basin up so that way they don't have to really rely on using a hose to fill this basin up so it's a good way on using some of the water I know they are nature loving people so it's pretty cool to see that they're using existing rainwater to keep this water feature sustainable. Guys, what do you guys think about this? Overall, it came out amazing. Just the aqua blue stone is just the color on it. Really nice, the stack slate sphere, driftwood, all the accents, everything came out perfect. It's our first time working with the stone. It's absolutely gorgeous and it was fun to work with. And obviously working alongside with you guys yes. for the first day, great experience that we all got along, worked well together. And I'm excited to see what the rest of the week has in store. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Let me pan you guys around and show you guys. So on this feature, we have 12 large aqua blocks 
box, a 15 by 25 piece of liner, a stack slate sphere, and four one watt lights. So, and a four to seven pump. So this thing turned out awesome. We were able to finish this thing in pretty much a day. We were out here a couple months ago doing this feature and we're finally back out here finishing it and it has turned out awesome. I'm really happy how it turned out and really glad that the homeowners are super ecstatic. They're gonna plant this thing up and you're not gonna be able to see anything. It's gonna look awesome. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. top pulling area turned out awesome. We have this awesome piece of driftwood up here with a combination of the sphere and then we also have two one watt lights sitting down in this area right here. We have a two and a half watt color changing light um, shining up on this waterfall, a two and a half watt color changing light up on this waterfall and then two lights up on here shining onto this sphere up here so at night you're going to get a nice shimmer and then hopefully you're going to be able to see a little bit of that piece of driftwood up there. So this thing turned out awesome and I couldn't be more thankful for the guys. Well if you guys haven't liked, commented, and subscribed please do so. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section to let us know how we did out here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks and stay tuned for the next one.